pies, sweetie pies. Okay. I've recorded this video like five times now because there was just complications with the sound and I don't know, weird things. Anyway, this is my first speaking kind of to the camera in this format type of YouTube video. So, welcome to the journey. Um, <laughs> so, I decided to make this video because two of my friends were asking me, like, yeah, two of my friends were asking me about, you know, work ethic and how I stay motivated and how I study during the weekend and, like, because the weekend's such a relaxed time, like, lots of people were just saying that they have struggle focusing on the weekend and studying on the weekend, which is, yeah, it can be quite problematic because it's the only time that you have to study on your own terms and you're not doing other things in between your studying and you don't have to go to school or work or whatever. So yeah, I just wrote down like five things that, five or six, I don't know, you might add some things in the middle, five things that help me stay focused during the weekend and help me get like motivated and just stay in the studying mode during the weekend. So yeah, so the first thing that, I don't know, it can be obvious to some people and not obvious to some people, but the first thing basically is to get a good amount of sleep. And because this is weekend studying, weekend studying, I guess, I'm gonna assume that it's Saturday and Sunday because no, I don't even study on a Friday afternoon because that's just disgusting. Like I, just a whole week of work and then I torture myself. So Saturday, Sunday. Best thing to do is to get a good amount of sleep. I say that, yeah, it can be really frustrating because I don't know it's weekend and you want to chill and you want to just have a good time and go on your phone late at night live your best life but if you're dedicating your weekend to studying then just go to sleep because you will have other weekends to go on instagram and live your best life and stay up late but you will not have other weekends to study before whatever you need to study for so just get into bed and go to sleep and get a good amount of sleep and i would say a good amount of sleep is about seven and a half hours for me personally seven and a half is like great like I function at a high on seven and a half hours of sleep. So that's just fantastic. That's, I think, a good amount of sleep to get. And the second thing I said was make sure that you're, you make sure you clean your room, make <laughs> sure your room or your working space is clean. And because I am a boarder, because I go to a boarding school, my, and I'm in matric, my workspace and my bed and my everything is just in the same space. So it's really distracting for me to have my bed not made and then try and study. So that's why I've added this in here. Um, if your workspace and your room space are in two different places, it can be very different for you. But for me and maybe for anyone else, even if their spaces are different, cleaning your room is so important. Just because I feel like it lets you breathe and be free and your mind is decluttered and your space is just clean and you just feel like a person and you feel like you're alive so yes and then yeah open windows get some fresh air just um yeah and then the third thing i said um was to shower before studying and this helps me literally just because i feel clean and i can't smell myself like i can't smell like day old body odor i don't know I just like being clean when I study. It helps me focus. It's like it's the same thing as decluttering my room, decluttering my mind. Same energy. So yeah, I like to shower and feel clean and be fresh and be moisturized and live my best life. So yes. And then number four, which is I'm cutting straight to the chase because I've recorded this video like 10 times now. So yeah, number four, I would say... I would say I wrote it down as study first eat later and this works for me 100% because I don't know I feel like when I eat first and then try and study I'm just full and I feel distracted and I feel like just more relaxed I guess and I just want to do other things like things other than study but when I study first I get into the groove and I get into the mood with things and then when I eat it's not such a big distraction and it's not such a big deal and then I And then I can just <sighs> when I study first I get into the mood and I get into the groove and life is great and then when I eat it's not such a big distraction and then I can just go straight back into studying or I want to go straight back into studying and it's not such a big distraction so that's why I say study first eat later and then 
I think finally is start with something light but that also depends on the person just like everything else on this list really is to yeah study something that doesn't really require much brain power or much thinking it's just much easier for me like to get into the groove and the mood of things and then after that i go into something harder and i yeah just work my way through and subjects progressively get harder as i go so that is just so much better for me yeah okay i have to cut this video short because i have to go somewhere yeah but i hope that this helps you study i hope that this keeps you motivated i don't know i hope that it adds to your work ethic if you already have one or your study weekend study schedule so yeah okay um i hope that it helps you and i hope that you enjoy the rest of your whatever day you are in and yeah just have a great life